an Auckland senior lecturer at Auckland University with a goal of achieving greater gender equality within our society. Please hands together for Pani Favid. Hello everyone. This is great, isn't it? It's just amazing. So great to be here with so many internet party supporters and so many worthy candidates. First of all, I want to take, thank Kim for making this happen and thank Lila for being our leader. <laughs> so yes, my name is Pani Favid. I'm a senior lecturer in psychology at AUT. Um, and I, that means that I've spent a long time at university and then when I finished studying, I got a job there. I guess who I am defined, is defined a lot by what I do. I am committed to social change and social justice when it comes to gender issues and beyond. I've spent a long time studying issues related to gender, power, identity and practice. And I've just found the rate of change within academia painfully slow. And I know that politics is not a magic bullet and doesn't fix things instantly, but I feel like I can make more of a difference if I'm in the public realm doing the things that I want to do to make social and political change for our people. I'm originally from Iran, so I was born in Tehran, Iran, and moved to New Zealand when I was 10. And Auckland is where I call home. I am... Um, teach and research social psychology at the university level. And right now, I've been, and for a little while now, I've been bringing in technological um, aspects of technology and how it mediates our social relationship is an area that I've been looking at recently. And one of the things that I'm very excited about is my, uh, I'm currently developing a media literacy program with Auckland City Libraries, which seeks to empower youth when it comes to media consumption. The reason I was interested in the Internet Party is because it potentially it provides us a vehicle for real social change and real social equality. As you may have guessed, the Internet Policy that I'm Internet Party policy that I'm interested in concerns social equality within New Zealand, and in particular gender equality. Gender equality means that men and women share power and influence in our society equally. It means that they should have the same they have, should have the equal rights opportunities and obligations in all spheres of life. This means that everyone, regardless of their gender, should have the right to work and financially support themselves. They should be able to balance career, family life, and family life with some ease, and live without the fear or threat of abuse or violence. As a country, we still have a long way to go. We've done very well, but we've got a long way to go. As of June 2013, women still on average earn 10 cents less than men per dollar. A 2012 Human Rights Commission report on women's participation in New Zealand outlined the continued lower rates of women in high status, public, managerial and CEO positions. We've got a few women in high places, but we don't have major representation. We could tackle such issues with, by introducing things like equal paid parental leave. We currently have paid parental leave, thank you, Lila, um, which is often taken by women. But what we need is to match this with paid paternity leave so that men also have that option. Wrap up, thanks. Um, okay, so finally, I believe any r robust gender policy needs to deal with issues facing girls and women and issues facing boys and men. We need to deal with issues of masculinity and femininity in our culture if we are to truly see an egalitarian future for New Zealand. Thank you very much, Pani. Fantastic.